Yeah? Mm hmm What are you surprised at, Jess? The jealousy, cause who? So we're in a restaurant. I'm not jealous of nobody. A girl walked by. You told me that we we winked at each other. I never <laughs> said you winked at no <laughs> cause I'd have been like, you had a black eye. Don't even try to do that. <laughs> the girl walked in and she was like, that Danny. Yeah, the whole time. And I'm gonna do it this way too. Danny, don't ever trip yourself, bitch. Like, what? <laughs> no, she did that. <laughs> Is in my deal. I get one side chick a month. You did it? <laughs> That's for real? He's serious. Look, look at Nick. Nick over there looking like the damn mean. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I do not agree with this. I think it's a setup for disaster. Why would they with you? That is the thing. Like, who would you? I agreed on the one, not side chick, but one. Month. So a side chick. Yeah. Yeah. But our agreement doesn't include catering to these bitches, like like taking them to breakfast. Oh, you that's suck. my that's Same. my no, 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 no. no, that's that's my whole issue is the, the uh, bitch yeah. hang around the green room all weekend amongst our friends. So don't for them that he does for you. I mean that's been my problem my whole life. I've never been faithful to one woman ever in my life. So Daniel, would you wanna try that? Would you wanna <laughs> I have a three? No, it's me. I'm just saying, no, it's buddy. I'm gonna take this smart route out, route out and uh, say, no, no. be honest. No. Yeah. The smart route out yeah. and be honest yeah. from the jump. Mm -hmm. In all honesty, I already had a couple. The, the combination of the chicks that I had was like ridiculous. So, Damn. I don't know if I could relive that. Um, Damn. So, so, I don't need it again. <laughs> <laughs> I asked you. Would you want a threesome with me? It's either yes or no. He gonna open up his little balled up lips that's always half closed and gonna say, oh, well, my combination of women. Nobody asked you about them little Baltimore bitches you run around <laughs> Nobody asked you about them. Nice. This was before her. Anyone else? I know, but yeah. I said the combination. <laughs> right. I know, yeah, yeah. I said the combination. Yeah. yeah right. I, I mean, but it's just, it's just but honest. Here the my drink. I am packing to leave. We got a show. You gonna be good? I'm gonna try. It's gonna be hard. It's gonna be so hard to be good. Shut but... up. So we just got here, but I have to leave for a show. I ain't gonna lie. I'm a little happy to be leaving. I kind of shut down after he talked about the threesome. He just had to say he had the best sex that he's ever had. Um, like, I'm not, like, young and vibrant, and he not Heathcliff Huxtable. So I don't care. I ain't gonna answer the phone for him. Nothing. I'll probably go have some good sex on my own. Never mind, I can't see that. How do you feel about the other couple? I like them. I think we was the best transparent couple. Yeah, you were a little transparent. Yeah, a lot of it, actually. It's your combination of bitches that you had. I just don't want to treat her like that mess up tonight. It was just me saying that I don't need a threesome from you. I already got that out of my system. Mm. I fulfilled my royal oats. I definitely know that Jess did not understand what I meant at this dinner. I am trying my best to get up out of it and explain it correctly. But I did terrible with it initially. <laughs> what about Michael and Rada? Uh, I think they have a good situation because- Are you crazy? Yes, they made, they had an agreement. She signed up for that. Even if they get married, what women do is y'all let emotions dictate how you play out situations. Like y'all indoctrinated, like y'all been programmed to real, like to think about marriage and love, like the, the end all be all. Uh, listen, so you don't want to get married? I'm not saying that I don't. Listen, if you're with somebody and that's the person that you want to be with, why not? Here. Is it why not, or is it because, because you, if you hold, somebody, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, you want to do what makes them happy? Is, I don't want to marry to make somebody happy. I don't want to do anything to make somebody happy. I feel like I can't control another person's happiness. Why does it have to be controlled? Like, you, you, ultimately, you do control the other person's happiness if you're in a relationship and you're focused on making the both of you happy. It's not control. Like, I just feel like it's like a jail mindset. I want to be with you because I can't live without you. And also to make somebody happy. You will be happy in the process. It hurt my feelings to hear my happiness doesn't matter. You don't care too much about what makes me happy. I mean, just like he wasn't concerned about my feelings at dinner. 
Oh, it's adding up fast. Like, I really want to leave. I want to get away from this man, honestly. Okay, uh, priorities. Pick up the priority brick, put it on the wall. Buddy. KJ and Claudia wall, looking like the wall that Trump wanted to build. I'm like, damn, tall as my If jealousy has a place in your relationship, jealousy. You're not jealous? No. You need two bricks. Now you get a chance to visualize the exact issues that are putting a wall between you. This is what we're here to work on. Hopefully we can work this wall down. The seven foot wall that you had up on me. Just be grateful that it wasn't eight. Well, it, you ran out of blocks. Anybody surprised? Yes. Yeah? Mm hmm What are you surprised at, Jeff? The jealousy, because who? So we're in a restaurant. I'm not jealous of nobody. A girl walked by. You told me that we we winked at each other. I never <laughs> said you winked at no because I'd have been like, you had a black eye. Don't even try to do that. The girl walked in and she was like, Dan Danny. Yeah, the whole And I'm going to do it this way too. Danny. Don't ever trip yourself, bitch. Like, what the <laughs> No, she did that. So when she walked past, I said, damn, who was that? She double took, she tripped, she, she <laughs> little slobber, all that. What the happened? And he was like, oh no, that's just, you know. <laughs> that's just, you know, that's just somebody that... Somebody that what? But that's jealous. I never did. I never had a phone number. How is that jealousy, that. though? That's me asking. You shouldn't have to ask them about every chick that walked by. She jealous, big dog. She jealous, big dog. She jealous, big dog. <laughs> Jess, tell me the biggest roadblock in your relationship right now. I mean, affection. I'm used to affection. I like, if I want to kiss you, kiss me back. Sex, I want more of it. I'm young, he always says it a lot, like, you're younger. You knew that when you got with me. And I know you're older, but you got it. Right, because we done been there. And I done tapped out before you plenty of times, so I'm like, I know you got it. You know <laughs> what it's saying? You know? That's it for me. OK. Intimacy and affection go hand in hand. Those are things that, with me, it takes time, patience. Anything worth the while you have to wait for. Rome wasn't built overnight. So for me, the love and romance, we're not in a place right now where we're in love. We like each other a lot, but we're not in love. Why am I here? This mother was like, I don't love her yet. It's not even about him saying he doesn't love me. It's the fact that he has to say it in front of everybody. Like, you have to make it known. Like, all right, mother Jess is not speaking up at this point because she, she's in an awkward position. She's trying to make it work with this guy. He's embarrassing her every chance he gets. We're not like that. I'm not in love. I don't even love her. Dude, why, why the are you here? What I've been asking for is patience from her. Anything worth, anything in life takes time. Everyone else got years in, and we have months in. At this point, I'm doing the best I could do, and all I ask for is patience. OK. We want you to swap your phone with your partner. If you swap, it means you have nothing to hide. If you don't swap, well, I guess we have to talk about what that means. point of this phone swapping exercise is to just see where their trust is. If you trust each other and there is a connection, there's nothing to hide. So if you can't swap phones, what are you hiding? Michael, Rada, you gonna swap? <laughs> I don't mind swapping, but I, just, I looked at it as invading privacy. Yeah, what happened to privacy? Hey, hey, hey. Here, you we'll can say swap. no. Yeah, you can say no. You don't have you to do it. You can say no. If he doesn't have anything to hide, he would swap with me. I'm swapping with him. Yep. You can see all my oh, DMs. You can see, you can see all my messages. You're saying that because we're You can people. see whatever you want to see. Michael, do you want to take her phone? I don't want your phone. So now, is it because you don't you you feel I don't like... want to invade her privacy. So you, she, you what she's saying it's not privacy. She's just saying that because we're here. So can she have your phone, Mike? That'll be invading my privacy. Come on, Thriller. Come on. So you hiding something? 
I'm not hiding a damn thing. It's yeah, just, you are. I think it's invaded. Yeah, but if you have nothing to hide, you would give me your phone. Oh, like I said, it's a choice. What the f are you hiding? Give me your goddamn phone. Girl, that contract over if you see that phone. Ronnie, we Shamari. already swapped. You already swapped? Yeah. yeah. Jess, you guys going to switch phone? No. No. Daniel, did you not want to swap? I'm in agreement with her tonight. No. <laughs> no okay. You said it. You didn't want to, so you can get my. So do you not want to, or are you actually agreeing with Jess? No, I agree with Mike. I don't no, want to. No, no. Jess just said that you you didn't want to. Is that the is that the case? Yeah, I don't want to. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. This feels like I'm being controlled, and I just can't do it. You a clown. When was your last relationship before this? But what I was like three years ago. What country were you? Like, really? Three years ago. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm out. I, 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 did, I had no idea. Somebody oh, said wait, but I wasn't thinking yeah. it was him. It was a big deal, too. It was a public? Girl, yeah. Really? Yeah. Wayne really did me wrong. The allegations of him being married, that, that stuff came out. And it was after we got together, officially. But it's actually one of the few men that I've dated who I really did feel like love me, like honestly. And even after humiliating me publicly, that is one of the men I will honestly always say loves me and he got my back. Who treated you better, Wayne or Daniel? Wayne. The fact that she's saying a man that hid an entire marriage from her, humiliated her publicly, treated her better than Daniel, like that says a lot. That is all you need to know. You gotta consider her thoughts and but her so, feelings. So considering thoughts and feelings, I treat her great. We don't, look, we don't have no problems, but do I love her? Am I in love with her? That's something totally different. Daniel's a different breed. He sees things only for how he chooses to see them, and he doesn't understand what she needs. I, I'd rather not lie about that, because at the end of the day, I gotta- give you some advice, Marla? You didn't you have to love. say, I'm not in love with her. You know? I have strong feelings for her. Leaves it nice and plain and simple. It's brutally honest, it's brutally tone deaf, honest is the point and, it's, and, it, and it hurts feelings. For sure, for sure. I'm telling you out of experience, because yeah. I said up my time. Her eyes are getting glossy. What's making you tear up? I just did. It's okay. It is, it's okay. I do not do this. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. It is. I really work hard, like, right. I built myself, you know what I'm saying? Like, I built myself, and so, when I say, like, yo, I really did come from, like, nothing, you know what I'm saying? Like, that means, like, no love either, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've never been in, a, like, a relationship where I'm like, oh, this is, even my son's dead, like, I was cheated on from the, you know, from the day I told him I was pregnant. <laughs> so it's like, I'm 29 and I'm young, but I know what I want. Right. And I'm just tired of that right. Like, But you'll get it, as long yeah. as you keep saying that. That's what I was saying earlier. Like, don't settle for less than that. You no, know what you really. want? And, and, and don't feel bad about right. knowing what you want. Don't settle for less than that. Right. Because you'll find yourself 40 going, uh-oh, I don't know what I'm right. still looking. Right. Don't do that. Take that off. Take that off. Let me see. Yes. Give it to KJ. Give it to KJ. KJ, you look nice too in all white. Oh, thank you. I'm feeling yes. like an R&B singer tonight. You look nice in that jacket, Ryder. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. It's Michael Zane. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. I know. It's given very much Follow IKEA. Jacket. Had a clearance sale on throw rugs. <laughs> and I like it. Good evening. So, guys, I want to address, as we say, some elephants in the room. Is each of you have an elephant on your table? You've got paper and pens. What I want you to do is if you find that there's another couple here on the retreat that's kind of sweeping some issues under the rug, I want you to write down the issue and go to the couple's table and plop it down in their elephant. Don't put your name on it. Write what you think about them and then put it in their elephant. Now, that's interesting. Very, very interesting. 
So the couples are starting to face a lot of issues. And a lot of them are starting to boil over. But with the end of the retreat, a few short days away, it's time for us to see, like, the stuff that they're not actually admitting to, a lot of stuff swept under the rug. Normally, I jump in and try to facilitate, but sometimes you can see and hear more when someone else, another couple, holds a mirror to your relationship. Help us work on our Yes, indeed. Me up to real, real. You should know the deal. That shot I feel. Me up to real, real. You should know the deal. That shot I feel. So what we're gonna do is go around to each table, and you can let us know what your comments are. Michael and Rada, we can start with you. I think Rada wrote one and put it in our own box. Same side chicks issue for two years and no resolution. What the? Seems like Mike makes jokes and uses his good sex powers to sidetrack Rada's concerns and feelings. What? <laughs> Rada, she must have wrote that one herself, because nobody else here thinks Michael is sexy. I'm going to speak for everybody. I'm going to say that. All right. Um, why have you been so patient and forgiving with such a new relationship? Can I answer that one? No. Oh, it's, right, it's for me. You always got something to say. Gets out of things with a joke or laugh. It can be taken like you don't take things serious. Who was that for? I wrote that for you. You that I ain't right there. I don't believe it. I absolutely did. You want to get it? Nope. A lot of times you do play when somebody's trying to be serious. With the microscope on, mm -hmm. everyone's eyes is watching, everyone is tuned mm -hmm. in. So this is not our norm. Ron and Shwari. You try to throw me out there. That's Sweet. Don't play with me. Not today. <laughs> Boy, it is what it is. Yesterday, I felt like we were taking steps towards moving forward. Now, today, I'm being attacked by Jessica. It's too much. So. Yeah, I got some sun. I know, right? I know. Yeah, good day. Yeah. You guys doing today? Good. Good, right. how are you? I'm James. Can I go and hop on? Right, I'm going to be driving. I am the captain now. Last night, they went out to have a conversation. And, you know, I'm happy that he apologized. So I thought it would be a great idea for us to link up with KJ and Claudia because I, I want them to get a better understanding of you. You are the captain. Hey, captain is first mate. Assumed first mate, I think we should go a little faster than five miles per hour once we get past the wake. Since Daniel chose not to show up to Michael and Rada's villa, I'm thinking this boat ride is gonna be the time away from everybody else where we can keep it a buck and have a little conversation with Daniel and how he's doing on this trip. You thought it was going somewhere, didn't you? All right, so just straight champagne. Cheers. Cheers to you. And last night, KJ, well, you know you should have told Styles that you wrote the card. Yeah, you know, you know, at the time I, I I wasn't ready to reveal it because I just wanted to see what was gonna what was gonna come of it. If you guys are putting off this image that your relationship is almost perfect, like just keep it real, keep it 100. Speaking of which, you know, KJ, I want to apologize to you because I prejudged you. You know, I assumed you was one way, but I realized you wasn't. I thought you were a stand-up guy, but. I heard I came up last night, and I wasn't there to defend myself, you know? The amount of time that you spend around Claudia, you picked up some of her traits. As, as a man, men, men talk to men, you know? Men don't pillow talk, men don't stare at pots. You had something to say to Jessica more about why I wasn't there, and I wasn't there to defend myself. Oh, did you really think I was apologizing to you? I'm just sorry I thought that KJ was a stand-up guy. Couldn't find out. He just likes to gossip. That's some stuff that women do. Wait, so... First of all, you're not going to call my man a woman. I didn't call him. I said that's well, stuff that he's women do. Well, he's actually one of the most masculine men here. And he stands, he stands up when he's you get uncomfortable. He don't run. And you ran this the third time. Ran? He's not been there for her. There you her. go defending KJ. It's not out of the norm to say, where's Daniel? You know, I'm, I'm like concerned for her just as everybody else is because the dynamic between the two is real spotty. Like one minute you're like, we're not in love, we're doing this. Next thing you know, you're happy. But where's the consistency? You don't get to judge that for me. You are not allowed. I'm not you're judging not you. Allowed to make I'm that not judging you. Who's taking a call? Where's the 
we're at a couple of feet, we're gonna have conversations. And that's what this, that's what this way let me. Please, please don't cut me off. Please don't cut me off. Please don't cut me off, okay? Because I sat there quietly. You as publicist. And it's okay, and it's okay. And, and you see your come up, how about that? You invited this this hostility. Ben. You invited no, this hostility by implying that he's on some kind of yeah. bitch, and he's not. We talked. I never said he was a bitch. I said he was a female. You said you act. I act like a female. I don't call anybody a bitch. I'm sorry, Jeff. Go back I, to I shore. apologize to you. I apologize to you because I know we shouldn't be arguing like this. I want to learn from everybody here, even him, if there's a way. And I'm sorry because I feel like her feelings have been hurt every other day on this retreat. You don't get the feel for her. You don't get to tell, don't get to tell my man how he I don't get to feel for her. Calm down. Calm down. Right. Calm down. Calm down. Because you know what? You're starting, to raise, you're starting to raise your voice. You no. can raise your voice at me. We want to talk about that man. Already, we had already had this conversation. Voice hurt, all right? You don't get to nah, nah, nah. Don't raise your voice, bro, all right? Please calm down. Please calm down. Everybody calm down. Please. Like, I did not expect for him to be off like that. I can't. I gotta call everybody down. There's no lifeguards. This is serious. And I'm literally the only person that can't swim. So I think that we're done. I think it, it's time to be finished here. It's too much. I think we should go back. Like yeah. Have a seat at the back row seats. Find your seat back row. So it's pretty clear that Daniel's not the best guy in the world, but for the sake of this experience, we're gonna put that aside and move forward and get into the next exercise. We're just here for each other. It's all about us, right? That's right, baby. It's all about us. So just when you think there's not a deeper to dive is when we dive deeper. Last night's Elephant in the Room exercise was perfect to see who was gonna actually listen to what other couples had to say. Today, I get a chance to see who's actually vulnerable and moving forward in the truth and who's struggling to accept the truth in their relationship. Now, you guys get a chance to see how well you know each other and if you can read each other's minds. I want to call Jess and Daniel. So here's what's going to happen. <laughs> I'm going to ask you a question, and Jess, you're going to answer as Daniel to see if you all know each other that well. Okay. Now we have this group activity, and I'm a little pissed. I felt like Danny was in a wrong on a boat. Daniel, why would you do all that? I mean, I know we from Baltimore and all that, but come on, dummy. Are you trying to embarrass me? Daniel, are you in a monogamous relationship? Hell yes. I haven't been for 11 years, but I know everything. <laughs> <laughs> and for every question that you ask me, I have an answer, so I know. I know. Take now, I'll be playing. <laughs> now, I'll be playing like that sometimes. So, we've got one more night. So, we're at a point now where it's time to shine light on the darkness. So, tomorrow, contract negotiations. That means that this exercise tonight is the last shot that the couples get to get everything out in the open. We've done an exercise where couples call out other couples. We've also done an exercise where couples call out their partners. Now, we're doing an exercise where everyone has got to come clean about their own truth. I'm gonna help guide the conversation. Okay. But it's really between the two of you. Is there anything that you feel like you still have to admit that will help you all design and decide the direction of your relationship now? Daniel, do you love her? Why would you ask this do he love me? We're not in a place right now where we're in love. All this is applying to someone that, that you actually love. Am I in love with her? That's something totally different. Why would you ask AJ, don't, ugh. I have a lot of love for her. Like, you know, I care about her, I have a lot of love for her. I feel like with patience, it could possibly grow into, you know, maybe some of the things that the other couples have. But I'm really, I really, really apologize for uh, the way I've made you feel. The time we've been here, um, I really had to face the elephant in the room. I am afraid to love. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah. 
I think uh, it has a lot to do with uh, my mom. Um, she had contracted HIV, and then she passed away. So I feel like at that point, that's when I first experienced abandonment. Um, moving forward, you know, I think I'm really afraid to love because that was the first woman I ever loved, you know? So I am afraid of love. I don't want to be abandoned, you know? And I know I'm not going to abandon myself. Thank you. That makes me feel good to hear you say that now. It's no more denying. It's good. You're afraid to love. It makes sense. Good work. Thank, Thank you. you.